Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's December 23rd, and this is the final BAM Weekly Mini Market Update of the year. I'm joined by the senior leaders of BAM's Capital Markets Desk, Grant Dewey and Brian Babler. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, Brian, let's start with you. Let's talk about the weekly update. This was the final busy week uh, for the Muni Market this year. What uh, do we see in interest rates and volume? <clears throat> Last week, for uh, for some any meaningful supply before the holidays, uh, the market continued to grind along. Uh, rates were slightly higher. Um, you know, treasuries drifted uh, about five basis points higher or so. We had a backdrop of some weaker than expected economic numbers uh, and some comments out of some Fed presidents. Um, and then on top of that, all of the impeachment drama that mm -hmm. uh, that was going on. Uh, but equities shrugged that off and continued to march higher. So uh, rates were about five basis points or so higher by the end of the week. Uh, BAM insured market uh, on on the on the BAM side, uh, we did over 250 million on the new issue market. Um, you know that was highlighted by some large deals for Northern Arizona University. Uh, that sold two series, 78 million tax exempts and 34 million taxables, um, which priced pretty well. By uh, J.P. Morgan. By J.P. Morgan. Mm -hmm. uh, by um, we also did uh, city price um, North Sumter utility bonds uh, that we insured part of the senior series and uh, all of the subs. So uh, so a nice active week for BAM Insurance to close out the year. And for the year, that brings BAM about 10.3 billion dollars par insured, just a little short of our all-time high, but uh, still a very successful year. Um, Grant, the question on everybody's mind: We're not going to turn the page and look forward to 2020. Uh, can these trends continue? Six months ago, $400 billion for 2019 seemed far-fetched, um, but we passed that in the market and, and then some this week. So what do you see? Go ahead. Well, I think the uh, kind of the conditions that drove second half volume, I mean, if you annualize second half volume, we hit almost $500 billion. So uh, it was kind of a tale of two halves. And uh, I think those conditions are going to continue to persist into 2020. So you had uh, you know, taxable advance for fundings drove a lot of that volume, and then 2010 was a big volume year, 425 billion, and a large amount of that will will become currently callable. So you see a fair amount of tax exempt uh, current refundings also. So uh, my guess is that we're going to. I think a lot of the estimates are in the 425 to 450. I would. Uh, I think that's very doable. I'd, I'd be closer to the 450, which again is is below the run rate uh, that we've seen in the last six months. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes, double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.